All right, so you want to sail full time. You're ready to take the plunge and you're hoping to spend the least amount of money possible. You are in luck. Getting started in the world of sailing does not take hundreds of thousands of dollars as some would lead you to believe. If you have ever watched any of my previous videos, I always state, hopefully we buy a vessel we can grow into versus out of, as well as making sure you set yourself up with a good solid long-term foundation that is not going to break the bank. Today, let's look at hunter sailboats. Oftentimes, when hunters are brought up in sailing conversations, people will instantly state something silly as, oh, hunters are okay for marinas, coastal cruising, or dock sitting. The reality is that hunters are a fantastic value. They do and can cross oceans. If you go to any marina in the world today, you are almost guaranteed to see some hunter sailboats. Now, many hunter sailboats use what's called a BNR rig. The BNR rig is a variant of the Bermuda sailboat rig. It employs swept spreaders that are usually angled aft, together with stays running diagonally downward from the tip of the spreaders to the attachment of the next pair of spreaders to the mast or to the intersection of the mast with the deck. These are so-called reverse diagonal shrouds. These facilitate a pre-bend in the mast that curves aftward. It's sometimes tuned even before it's stepped onto the vessel. Conventional shrouds thereby contribute to both lateral and longitudinal stability. Now, unlike rigs with unswept spreaders, a BNR rig can be a masthead or fractional rig depending on how the stays are configured, and a backstay is optional. Now, many of the hunter sailboats do not use a backstay. This, of course, has always caused many armchair captains to balk at the idea of hunters. <laughs> Now, the use of no backstay in conjunction with the fact that Hunter made a couple models in the mid-90s that were prone to several issues. This has led to Hunter getting a bad rap that has stuck with it to today. The reality is that bad rap is not really justified and Hunters can be a fantastic vessel as well as a great bang for the buck. Let's look at some models today that are under 50k and may just be what you are looking for. If you have been doing any boat shopping in the last couple years, you know that the current used sailboat market is absolutely nuts. Many vessels are priced at 40% or more than they should be, and these inflated prices don't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. With that being said, let's see what we can find today and if it may just work for you. Now up first, we have the Hunter 310. There are about five currently available on the market and they all come in at under 50K, with the lowest actually available currently at 33,500 USD. Now this particular model is incredibly roomy. It boasts a 28 foot waterline and an almost 10 foot beam. This one is technically a coastal cruiser. So for the Caribbean, Bahamas, South Florida, and all of the lesser Antilles, this could be a fantastic vessel for you if you're a solo sailor or if you get along really good with your spouse. These are all late 90s vessels, a couple years older than I would ideally prefer. However, in this case, for the price and needs of the person who would be interested in these, I think that they can be fantastic. Now, some of the basic criteria I look for in a vessel is one that is no older than 2000 and with a length overall that is no larger than five foot in difference from the length at the waterline. Now, the reason for this is that I do not want to be paying a bunch of extra money for slips and maintenance as well as haul outs on a vessel that has a bunch of extra deck space, but not much living space. I'm a full time sailor. My comfort, ease of use, and cost are the most important things for me personally. So keep that in mind if you have a vessel that you like that doesn't make it onto the video. There are thousands of fantastic vessels that do not meet my personal criteria. That does not mean they wouldn't be the perfect vessel for you. 
Now up next, we have the Hunter 326. This is basically a newer version of the 310. Again, an incredibly roomy vessel rated for coastal cruising and can be had on the market for currently as low as 39,000. Now we're gonna step into a bit larger vessel that is in fact rated for blue water. These can and do cross oceans. We have the Hunter 340. This is quite a significant step up from the 310 as well as the 326. We are now into what's called a CEA rated vessel. That means it's a vessel built for offshore sailing and blue water. We have gained a huge amount of livable space with this one. Now the Hunter 340 boasts a length at the waterline of 28.58, a length overall of 33.75, and a beam of almost 12 feet. Currently, there seems to only be one listed on the market, and it's actually listed at 49,900. Now this would be a fantastic vessel for a solo sailor or a couple without fear of not having enough room to get some space and not drive each other absolutely nuts. Now, unfortunately, that appears to be about all there is on the market currently that would fit the criteria I previously laid out of 2000 or newer and less than 50K. There are some mid 90s, 37 ish foot footers and some late 80s, 40 footers that all fall within and under the 50K budget. But in my opinion, that we're just getting into too old of a vessel where the running costs over time are simply going to be too much. They're gonna add up, larger things are gonna break, and probably getting on the water, our refit cost is gonna be pretty high. There's also several other 32-ish foot hunters on the market that meet the criteria of 2000 or newer and a budget of less than 50K. Now, as previously mentioned, the current used sailboat market is absolutely atrocious. It's ridiculous. I don't know what these brokers have been telling their clients. They're telling their clients they can get a whole bunch more money than they actually can. The vessel sits on the market for months and months. At this case, I've seen some of the boats on the market for 16 months, 18 months. That's a year and a half. This whole time, the clients had to pay the mooring cost or the anchoring cost, the haul out, the storage, whatever. Seems like kind of a disservice. It would sure would be nice if hopefully the boating market goes back to normal. Now I would have loved to have shown you several more vessels. I love talking about sailboats. They're just, as far as hunters go, there just doesn't seem to be a lot on the market currently. However, I'll keep checking and when some good stuff comes up or there's a variety of them, the prices drop a bit, I'll be happy to revisit this again. Also, I talk about a lot of this stuff in my live streams as well. Now, if you did like the video, go ahead, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and tune into one of my live streams. I talk about sailboats all the time when I live stream. You just have to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to take a look at the Beneteau boat market currently and see what used vessels are available in the world of Beneteaus. So tune in tomorrow for that video. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.